Folks, welcome back. Today we're going to compare a dethatcher versus a landscape rake. Two different tools, sort of similar, but there's some differences that are critical. Thought it was a pretty good time of year. We can take care of some leaves in the lawn. We can uh, rake out a gravel drive. I just had some more gravel dropped off, and then we can take care of some trail maintenance too. Uh, show you what they're all about. I'm a visual learner myself, so sometimes seeing this stuff in action works better for you too. Now we've got a 60 inch dethatcher rake over here versus a 72 inch landscape rake. That's because I didn't feel like going to my shop and getting the 60 inch rake over here. So we had the 72 inch here already, so that's what we're working with. If we had a 60 inch landscape rake to compare to the Thatcher, it's about double the price, give or take, somewhere in that ballpark. Weight difference, this is about 50 pounds, ships in a cardboard box, UPS ground, really great. The landscape rake, oh, 150 to 200 pounds, somewhere in there. A little bit more if you get a, an even bigger rake too, but substantially more weight and that is, well, advantageous and disadvantageous depending on what you're looking to do. And I think some of what we're going through today is gonna to show you that where less weight or more weight can can be good or bad depending on if you're on your lawn or on a gravel driveway or on a trail or, or somewhere else. So these are both good pieces of equipment. They're both versatile, which is I think something that is um, what everybody should look for in a tool. If you can only do one job with it, that kind of stinks because even the, the Thatcher is it's still a lot of money, you know, it's cheaper than the rake, but it's still a lot of money. So you wanna use it in as many ways, as many applications as you possibly can. So we sell both of these though. So no matter what you're looking for, if you're looking for the Thatcher rake, the landscape rake, we can help you out. Go to goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country. And I just looked it up this morning, 76% of our views are from people that are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button down below to follow along. All right, a few other points to mention about these tools. They are both gonna be category one, three point compatible. You're gonna see them mounted to quick hitches, but they don't need to be. So they can just go right to your, your three point if you wanna do that. There's, there's no PTO connections here, nothing to worry about there. If you wanna hook it up to the quick hitch, Take your pick, you can see the iMatch, we have uh, bushings on the landscape rake because the iMatch requires bushings. The Red Spico does not use bushings, a direct pin fitment, so that's pretty nice. Now, with the Thatcher, you can go forwards or backwards. These are spring tooth tines that are on there. It'll allow for movement going both directions. Uh, depends on what you're doing. If you're looking to scuff up your, your lawn to maybe scarify it and uh, dethatch it or put some seed down after that. Going both ways with the rake is a good thing to do because it just gives extra passes on there, um, a little bit more uh, earth exposure, which is helpful. The rake is really only meant to go one direction. Now you can spin this around, it does pivot. So you can push or pull, but unlike the dethatcher, you have to hop off your tractor and spin this thing around or angle it left or right or whatever you want to do. So you do have more flexibility, I suppose, with that, um, but it's a little bit different way that you go about it. So we're showing you a few uses in this video, but a lot of you guys already have these tools as well, using it for other applications too, so let us know down below.
area is going to be on a lawn taking care of leaves. It's fall right now. I haven't actually touched the leaves at all. And uh, if you notice the trees, almost all the leaves are down. So pretty much maximum leaf cover in certain areas here. I think the main difference that you're going to see between these two is the turf damage, all right? Um, and probably the second biggest thing would be actually, I think, the end results with the, the dethatcher rake are better than the landscape rake. Uh, just, I don't know why, maybe, yeah, no, time spacing's pretty similar. I don't know what it is. Um, but it just seemed to gather the leaves more effectively with the dethatcher rake versus the landscape rake. Um, going forwards and backwards, tried to show you that with uh, um, both of these pieces of equipment at various times. Seemed to be, again, be more effective with the dethatcher rake on there. For me, I specifically picked an area that was further, closer <laughs> to the edge of the yard for the landscape rake. Uh, it's actually pretty decent turf there in the summer, but it, uh, I had a feeling it would do some damage. So we did another area this summer uh, kind of by the entrance with the landscape rake and the ground was really hard and dry at that point. Didn't do nearly that kind of damage, but now the lawn has a lot of moisture in it and so that turf just kind of rips up and tears pretty easily. And I think that's pretty evident in the, in the demonstration. So for the trail maintenance demo, I just picked one trail in there and kind of split it in half. Did one half with the, the, the Thatcher rake, the other one with the landscape rake. And honestly, I think it's split in hairs. They both did a fantastic job. Um, the down pass, the first pass, got the majority of it and kind of loosened up the stuff that may, maybe was stuck to the ground. And then the follow-up pass, which I was able to drive backwards with the Thatcher rake, where I had to drive forwards with the landscape rake. Um, that's, again, kind of split in hairs, but did a really, really good job at getting all the leaves off, all the sticks, whatever else was on there, I don't even know, but it just cleared it down to, to fresh dirt. And, and for me, this time of year, hunting is on my mind, and so those crunchy leaves give away my presence, right? And so I'm trying to keep it uh, nice and quiet, but it'll be nicer too, and, and not as maybe sloppy of a mess uh, throughout the course of winter and into spring too. Folks, I wanna take just a second to tell you about our channel sponsor, RimGuard. They are a liquid ballast solution. They line up with exactly what we do here on Good Works, which is talking about tractors and tractor safety. We see it as simple as this. If you own a tractor, you need RimGuard. In fact, some tractors include RimGuard as standard out of the factory. Liquid ballast is simply weight, all right? And this weight hides inside your tires. It stays there all the time. It's a safety concern because tractors are 
almost always too light and too tippy out of the factory. The number one attachment used by every tractor owner is their front end loader. So when you pick up something heavy on the front end, your back end wants to pick up off the ground. RimGuard liquid ballast helps keep your back end planted to the ground. But beyond safety, it's gonna help maintain traction because if those rear tires, those power driving tires are on the ground, you have traction to go where you need to. And you're gonna operate more efficiently because if those rear tires aren't on the ground, you're not gonna pick up as much as you need to or take it where you need to go. RimGuard is all natural. That means it's safe. It is the heaviest per gallon, all natural product on the market. It's not gonna freeze, it's not gonna corrode, and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. To find a dealer, visit RimGuardSolutions.com to make your tractor safer today. So gravel drive maintenance is something that you just have to deal with. Um, both of these tools serve a different purpose and you're gonna notice a section of our gravel drive that I just recently had two more loads of stone brought in. Uh, the pitch was really steep off to the side and just wanted to kind of build up one of those edges. I'm gonna have to end up bringing in uh, topsoil because it's a pretty steep drop off there, but I really wanted to level out that driveway a bit more um, instead, of, instead of leaning so hard to the side. And so what I wanted to show you was an area of installed driveway uh, and then an area of new driveway and see how the dethatcher rake would do. Um, it did really well on kind of scuffing up uh, the existing driveway and kind of refreshing it. I would say it's a good application in the summertime, maybe several times in the summer. If you kind of go through it, it kind of lightly skims it, uh, prevents the weeds from taking root and, and taking hold and just kind of refreshes it and makes it look nice. Didn't really succeed that well with the the new stone that was dropped off and pushing that around very well. It's just too light duty for that, and it's not really intended to do so. So came back through with the landscape rake, and, and I've talked about this before, they are a really good tool for maintaining your driveway, and I think it shows in this video as well, and it's aggressive enough to take that new material as well and really help smooth that out and, and evenly disperse it. Um, just kind of, just the natural design, some of the stone can kind of fit in between the individual rake tines that are on here, some spills along the edge, but it just doesn't really accumulate a whole lot, just enough to kind of move it where it needs to go. So the last thing, we were kind of running out of steam a little bit, but I had some huge mole mounds that are in the back of the yard. and. Uh, yeah, maybe I should have taken the thatcher out there, but I had I was sitting on the tractor with the rake So drove that out there and kind of gently backed up over those and spread those out You know, I, I do think that a thatcher would probably be 
a more effective tool in that area, again, being on the lawn. Uh, but I think after a few passes, most of that soil would kind of disperse within the, the grass itself and, and pretty much kind of level itself out and, and disappear. Alrighty folks, so I think that gives you a pretty good look, the Dethatcher rake versus the landscape rake. You know, these are a good multi-purpose tool like we talked about. This gives you a good visual demonstration of, of different applications that maybe you have around your own homestead. And of course, these aren't the only tasks that these can do. You know, we've shown uh, this picking up pine needles. Um, again, you can scarify, you can dethatch, a lot of other applications for it to try to justify the cost. And there is a pretty big cost difference. Overall, these are both relatively cheap. Uh, tractor tools when it comes down to it. There's there's some that are a lot more than this. Uh, and, and one final thought I do want to mention, uh, probably should talk about durability. And again, this being, this whole thing is only 50 pounds versus the 150 to 200 or whatever, somewhere right around there. It's just a lot more light duty, all right? And I was thinking about that when I was in the woods there doing the, the trail. If I backed up into like a hidden stump, I'm probably gonna bend this frame on here. Whereas, you know, this is a lot, more stout, right? And worst case, maybe I, I bend a, a tine on here, but that's not nearly as big of a deal as having to replace a whole rail. So you do wanna be a little bit more aware of your surroundings with the dethatcher rake versus the landscape rake. You're gonna be, well, it's gonna be more forgiving compared to that one. Now, regardless of which one you choose, we'd love to help you out. We sell them both. Go to goodworkstractors.com and we'll ship it right to you. And again, we do want you to tag along. So hit that subscribe button right down below. It's completely free. We just did a giveaway recently. We're probably gonna do more of those sprinkled in the future too, because they're a lot of fun. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.